Hey guys, we're at Battleborn Batteries in Reno, Nevada. This is the bus life. Woo! Here we are, Battleborn Batteries. All right, guys, this is our tour guide today. Hi, I'm Kaylin Huckabee. I'm with Battleborn Batteries. I'm the marketing coordinator over here. We're going to give you guys a tour of the facility here. Um, so the first step is actually building what we call a mod pack. So that's those frames that are built out over there. Um, and everything really in our process right now is all hands-on. There's an individual person building each one of these frames every day. So one thing I just want to say what's really great about Battleborn is they're doing their assembly here in the United States, which is awesome because they're, you know, you're not just ordering a battery that you don't know where it comes from. You don't know where it was assembled. You know, they know how to service their batteries because they're assembled here. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, once you put that mod pack um, together with your cells, you laid on this basically a measuring yeah. unit and it's going to tell if one of the cells is basically reverse polarity. So it's upside down. Right. So it'll say pass or fail. Yeah. Um, once it passes the individual who's working this, we have a nickel sheet of plating that's on each side of that mod pack. They're going to sign it and date it and say, all right, it's good to go. My section's okay. done. Right. Okay. So we have a QC process basically from every step of the way until you get to that battery is completely closed. So it passes. We move it on to these machines right here, which are called welders. Um, this is going to spot weld that nickel plating to the cell itself three times on each cell simultaneously, bottom wow. to top. Um, and our engineers actually built these. Really? So, yeah. Okay. Wow. So it's pretty crazy. And actually the one right there yes. was our first one where it was just an individual. This here? <laughs> yeah. So that was just a little individual unit. And now we actually use this to go back if we missed a spot weld. And then um, they'll like trim up the sides, make it look all clean. Um, and then they'll sign it off and then it'll move on to the next step. Wow. Okay. So this wow. is your mod pack. Okay. okay. And these are the are these the spot <laughs> welds? Those are the spot welds. Yep. Okay. And then you can flip it over here, and you'll see the signatures right there. Wow. Pretty cool. So within the cycler station, it's monitored by a computer program called Captain Crunch. Okay. The engineers named it that. <laughs> so um, what that does is it's actually monitoring each one of these slots that we put a mod pack in. So every mod pack has to go in a slot, whether it's our big batteries or our small batteries. So what we're going to do is we're going to discharge these all the way down and then charge them back up. And we're, how we're charging them is actually using the energy that you took out of it. Now we can see what your um, capacity uh, is of each one of these because okay. they have to be matched to like a tenth of a volt. So a lot goes into making just one battery. Yeah, just that's just one battery really. You have a whole team here that's matching um, each one of those mod packs and they're gonna start putting into the bins that that battery is gonna be built into. Okay. Um, and then we actually serialize it. Like this is when your battery actually becomes a battery at this point in time. Um, serialize it and then we actually write the capacity on tape. <laughs> Put it on green. Right, right. okay. Green duct tape and then it moves <laughs> along the line. Now we're gonna get into where your building process, where your BMS gets put onto and then and the BMS, for those that don't know, that's the battery management, management system. system. Okay. Yep, so that's what's actually protecting any end user from pretty much anything that you could do to harm that battery. Okay, all right. So these are the smaller batteries. Then. Yep, those are our 100 amp hour batteries. Okay. Is that the type that you guys are looking to fit Corey and Hannah with? Yes. Okay. We actually test each of our BMSs and we have a temperature sensor in there. So. You get a cold pack, you freeze it pretty much so that we make sure it cuts off at a certain temperature. And then you actually heat it as well to make sure it cuts off at a certain temperature. Um, and then we also do like a short circuit testing and all that stuff. Uh, moving down the line, you have your BMS connections, which are your Molex cables. Yeah. Um, it's monitoring each mod pack um, in between here. And then you're gonna, they're going to bolt all of these together so everything's nice and tight. Are these watertight? when they're sealed or how so does that work? They're sealed with H8000, H8000, which is a water resistant seal. But if you have just rain hitting it, you would be You'd totally be fine. Okay, yep. cool. After the battery has the BMS attached to it um, and the battery is completed, we actually now test the battery as a whole. This is gonna shoot 200 amps into the uh, battery to make sure that it shuts off. Okay. Um, at its cutoff. 
and then it will just recharge and make sure it's charging and functioning as a whole battery. There's space on each side of the battery that we put these shims in, okay. right? And so there's neoprene foam in there and then there's like plastic plating. That actually helps us with our uh, UL listing because the vibration can handle it because you have that padding in, it, right? padding in there. Okay, so here is where you're gonna get your lid on. It'll go knock that seal onto there and then they will epoxy each one of your terminals. Okay, so now yeah. you have your red and black terminal. Right. Um, and then we'll sticker it the next day. These usually have to sit overnight. So once these are sealed, they're, they're not gonna be opened again? No. Okay. Nope, they will not be opened again. They're stickered, they're bagged. Um, we take them over to the boxing station. Right. We know that FedEx, we know that UPS yeah. just toss things around <laughs> yes. and you have no idea That's what your package is gonna come like. So we actually have a foam that we make for each battery. Um, so like you can see there's walls of foam oh, right wow. now. So we, we have a mold for each battery. Surprisingly, <laughs> that's actually super important because there's nothing worse than expecting something. You have like a time restraint yep. and it comes damaged and oh, then yeah. you have to go through a whole claim through UPS. If something comes damaged, we take care of it right away. Oh, right, yeah. And it's like, if we have to, we will express ship that battery to get it to you because we know you guys' lifestyle, like it's hard right. to, <laughs> right. to like, get to. We're and only even here for I, like three days. <laughs> well, especially to find a place that will take it because our batteries have to ship as hazmat material right so you have to someone has to hold it for you and okay, right, we yeah. have to make sure we get that in a time frame to do it awesome. the moment you place an order we can get your batteries out if it's in our time window if not the next day you're ahead not behind exactly so you know a lot of times there's problems you hear these stories about problems with fires is there a danger with that with your guys's batteries and if not why so first off we use lithium iron phosphate so that's like the most stable chemistry you could use okay. in a battery um for like your everyday deep cycle right um and then also the biggest thing for us is we have a battery management system in there that protects the end user from high voltage low voltage short circuit high temp low temp wow. so pretty much anything that you could do in the end user or mother nature will protect that battery and it'll shut itself down okay. before any of that would happen yeah. so we use the best chemistry you can use, and then the best BMS. Okay. We're hands-on with everything, and we put that in place for a reason. Okay. And cool. that's why we're the best battery in the market. That's right. Yes. <laughs> I gotta say, I do like that you can turn your system off mm -hmm. or on just sitting in bed. Like if you go to sleep and you're like, oh, yeah, no, like I need with to the, do this. You're talking about I with the Victron. Victron. Yeah. 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 And so that's why Victron. We've worked with them for a long time. We've been distributing their systems for a long time. They work so good with our batteries mm -hmm. that it's just unmatched they go like hand we hand want hand, right? we yeah. always yeah. want our customers to use victron with us i mean it works with other components sure. as well that's the beauty of it is we're pretty flexible and we have customer service our customer service yes. is also the number one thing that we can provide to our customers is we have a team of sales guys of 10 or 12 of them that mm. are answering the phone monday through friday and they're in-house and they're, they're not in -house. like they in are... another country right <laughs> exactly and they're answering emails if you call us we will get back with you in 24 hours if we okay. do not get back with you that day. You blew my mind with your knowledge on batteries and it was a good learning experience. Yeah. Absolutely, we're yeah. glad you guys were able to make it. Yeah, <laughs> it we fun. too, yes. <laughs>